Anna Subri has suffered a furious backlash on social media after claiming politicians involved in the Leave campaign in the run-up to the Brexit vote have not delivered on their promises. The former Conservative MP singled out Boris Johnson, Michael Gove and Nigel Farage during an interview with Tuck Radio. She stated that lies told during the Leave campaign have unraveled and questions need to be asked regarding how this has happened. Ms. Subri said, the problem has been that people made promises, people told lies, that is now being unraveled. Get the people in who led the Leave campaign, who made all these promises and said it would be the easiest deal. The people who said we would remain in the single market and customs union there are many of them. Mr. Farage, Boris Johnson, Michael Gove and all the rest of them and question them as to why that has not happened. Find out from them why the promises they made the British people have not been delivered on. Viewers took to social media to share their thoughts on Ms. Subri's comments. One Twitter user said it was utterly ridiculous that the likes of Ms. Subri accept no responsibility of where we are today after four years of undermining the Brexit result. You can only imagine what a tower of strength the UK would be if all the MPs had worked together to make it happen, the Twitter user added. Another tweeted, let's stop the anti-democratic, bad sportsmanship and get on making the best of the post-Brexit opportunities. Haven't you done enough to hold this country back after losing the referendum Anna Subri? A third said, some people hold democracy and respecting the legitimate vote as important, that's why Ramoners want win. A fourth wrote, I have no idea why anyone would want to listen to anything Anna has to say. Another tweeted, Subri is a bitter loser, lost her MP status, lost out in the Democratic vote, but still won't accept it, and lost her Conservative Party membership. A sixth said, the electorate let Subri know what they thought about her opinion. It comes as Boris Johnson has traveled to Brussels to meet with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen to try to clinch a Brexit deal.